Okay, we're back. And this time, I've got the bumper mounted, got the headlights in, got the oil cooler mounted, got everything plumbed up, but I wasn't happy with the coolant tank. And what I mean is the factory coolant tank sits right here, but then my intakes for the turbos are relocated over here because they were over there. And that was inefficient to move the air from one side of the motor to the other. But to do this, now I had to get rid of this thing. And originally I thought that I could get it mounted here, which is how I'd been driving the car around uh, loosely. But the coolant lines in the bottom down there, which feeds the water pump, they're really kind of in a position where they either get pinched or they're rubbing on the frame rail heavily and they're stacking up between the power steering line, the charge pipe and the heater hoses. It just wasn't going to work very well. So I thought, all right, I'm going to be a smart one and I'm going to mount it over here, which is kind of odd. It's in the middle of the car and, and really not the best, but I was like, okay, spent some time this morning making a bracket to try to make that work. And uh, ultimately uh, just not happy with it. I think I can do a better job and a uh, much cleaner install by moving the coolant reservoir where the headlight was. So as you know, I'm not running headlights in the car. I may run some off-road LEDs just on the far outside edges here on that side over there and this side over here if I want headlights. But right now, I'm more concerned with getting a coolant reservoir that fits. So let me show you what the intent is. Sort of rough this guy out. So I found some fittings and things like that that I had laying around the shop, which was kind of nice, and I found some aluminum plate, so it should be good. I walk back over here. So this funky looking thing should be about right to sit right here. Anyway, follow along this time, guys, to watch me take this cardboard mock-up and turn it into an aluminum piece that's hopefully very, very close to that. <laughs> so we'll see. But anyway, cool. Let's get to it. kind of the fit up and the cleaning. So you can see I can weld most all of these on the back side, which is great. So anyway, like that. So the welds will be on the inside and all you'll see on the outside is this little bit sticking out. So it'll make it really streamlined because when you set your sensors or bar fittings or things like that, um, anyway, it'll uh, hide and recess. It'll, it'll just be a much tighter package uh, inside. So. Yep, so to cut these out, I just used step bit, super simple, and a little bit of WD-40. All right, let me get to clean it.
so not the best job in the world, but I finally figured out I had missed the uh, the crater control switch or the R control switch on the uh, the TIG welder. So things are looking up and up now, but uh, in the beginning it was a little bit rougher. in a few edges this thing's still really hot I'll let it cool down for a minute but uh, you can see there's my feet dash 10 on the bottom uh, and then I've got this is my upper uh, upper radiator hose return and then of course here's my radiator cap so you flip this around see what it looks like so here we go so go sit in here like this should be something like that maybe a little higher so something like that. So, yeah. Might nip that corner down there just to make sure it clears the wheel, but uh, I think that's gonna work out pretty good. years since I've welded aluminum so I was kind of actually excited to do this even though uh, you know it didn't seem like the natural thing to do in the very beginning but uh, I'm gonna see how it fits I've got to add some brackets and things like that but the bulk of the tank is done at this point and uh, okay maybe not my best work but at the end of the day um, I think this is gonna do just fine and uh, we're gonna set it in the car here in a minute and um, just make sure everything clears well and then start figuring out where brackets go and where lines go and things like that so anyway there it is so if you made it this far in the video i really appreciate the attendance so far let me show you really quick what i did to finally mount this thing in the car it's pretty simple but uh, i wanted to make sure i closed the, the video out with nice uh yes philosophy on mounting so here you go the top tab is i think an old headlight mount so i'm going to use that as you can see, I sort of rotated the tank slightly, which gave me a little bit better clearance on a couple items. Then down here, let me see if you can see through the, the light here, uh, that's just a big old flat plate that I'm going to put uh, two rivet nuts into the frame rail and uh, two fasteners through that that, uh, that little plate. So anyway, long story short, three different fasteners kind of orientated, orientated the tank in a, a little bit of a weird angle, but I got a little more height out of it, which I was happy about. Um, there'll be a a nice uh, radiator cap up here. Yeah. So again, thanks for the attendance so far. And um, tank turned out okay. I think uh, I would have changed a couple things if I had to do it all over again. But uh, yeah, not so bad. And, you know, we'll see what the next video is all about. All right, guys. Thanks again so much for watching. 
and um, talk to you later. Bye. Check out my Miller TIG welder. Yeah, it's like it's 1990.